Yo, what up guys, it's Zayo, and um, we're here with the latest Speed Duel set. A little late, but um, you know, lazy guy, you know what I'm saying? Um, we got regionals coming up, so I've been focusing on that. Haven't really been uh, making new videos, but uh, I do want to get back to some like, you know, budget decks and uh, showing you guys how they play, but right now I've just been playing my Exorcistor deck. Maybe I'll probably have like a roundup uh, video for that once regionals is over. Uh, but that's coming up pretty soon, so uh, but for now we're opening up the uh, Probably the best speed duel, uh, speed duel product in a while. I mean, I don't even remember the last one. Was the last one like Battle City? So this is probably the best one in like a year, over a year. Uh, and my favorite uh, series for Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, because you know I'm a hero fanboy, but uh, you know, I haven't posted anything hero in a while. Anyways, but, uh, you know, let's just get into the box and uh, see what kind of secrets we get. Alright guys, so, you know, with this thing coming out, I kind of feel like doing something crazy, something stupid with these uh, Speed Duel cards. Maybe I might try and make a deck out of only the Speed Duel cards and seeing uh, how we do uh, at Locals, you know. Although, I don't know, it'll be, it'll be a pretty weak deck, but I think there's probably a chance. And uh, let's see what we got here. I really slanted there. Uh, Four play mats, of course. Um, I don't think anyone's gonna be using them. Kind of wish I just did like maybe one good one. Uh, but uh, you got your boy Don Zalug right here, and uh, you know what? I'll do it first. You know, I'll, I'll do the secrets first. A lot of people are here just to see the secrets. And I have a good camera, so uh, let's show them off. Don Zalug right here, and of course, uh, I don't know. Some people like in their videos, I can't see the speed duel thing, but it is definitely there. Um, although it is. Um, Sometimes hard to see, I don't know, in certain lights, but I definitely don't like having that there. Dawn's a Luke, pretty good, first one. Apprentice Magician, very nice. So if you're trying to get some hollowed out, like, goat goat cards or something, these are really good. I mean, Hydro Get On, I like that. Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, okay. I love this GX stuff. So, it's very diverse. A Cyber Blader, of course. Awesome. I get that. This look really, um, this look really dark. Is this like Hero? Or is that just how they like look now? That's really weird. They just look really dark. I don't know. Is it? Is it just me? What do you guys think? They look pretty dark to me, but maybe that's just the, the lighting or something. Floodgate Trample. That's interesting. I would have thought there'd be more uh, like secret rare stuff there. DD Warrior Lady. Very very nice for us secrets and our last secret too. Awesome. Just that. Don't like that, but. Probably in most lights you won't even be able to see it, so it's whatever. No hero card though, unfortunately for us though. So, you know, I'm just hoping just for like, a, you know, my boy Flame Wingman or something, but we'll still get him, because he's right there. Um, yeah, Speed Duel, right here, look at these cards. This brings back a lot of memories, man, a lot. <laughs> love this, love this generation of cards. Let's just go through. We gotta start off with my favorite right here, some of the elemental heroes. Um, I believe that the fusions are like placed separately, like here, all the extra deck monster stuff. So probably only be seeing like the small dudes here. And of course, don't forget the destiny heroes are in here. I was definitely more of a destiny hero fanboy than I was uh, of E heroes or Neo Spatians and all that. I actually did not like Neo Spatians at all, but that's for another time to talk about. Here we go, Elemental Hero Avion. Oh yeah, Verstinatrix, Clay Man, all that good stuff, Spark Man, the four. All you're gonna need, and of course some uh, some more just good cards. Rottweiler, that guy was always in the show. Yeah, just all your classics right here. You guys are definitely, uh, you know, if you actually, if you've been craving some, um, a quick way to get all like the GX era cards, this is actually really, really good. I mean, this is all you need. Um, you will be able to play like a really slow down format too. Plasma, my favorite Destiny hero. You really be able to play a slow down format, even if you don't want to play the Speed Duel. You will be able to play like just like goat-ish, you know, quote quote cards uh, in a kind of in this kind of sealed format. So it's really good. Of course, double malicious. Yeah, just this is awesome. And the Poly too in the Destiny hero deck because there is one polymerization target. Uh, at this point, I think. Right? Did we see Dogma? I don't remember. Was there Dogma? 
No, there was no dogma. Wait, what's our target then? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> uh, Night Beam though. Destiny Signal D Chain. Oh man, I just remember having all these cards. Ojamas? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm definitely. I'm, I'm gonna keep going these slowly just for you guys to like, you know, check them out. You know, relive the nostalgia of seeing each cards right here. Oh yeah, all the Ojamas and Polly in each one. So I guess, you know, you get one, you get your play set of Polly, but you're definitely gonna want to get like more than one if you want to play like any of these decks like in a full, not speed duel format. So that is the downside, but. Still a great way to get everything. You're really just gonna get everything you're gonna want. Now let's go with my second favorite, some Cyber Dragons here. And I uh, see some uh, skill cards in the back here too. Now, I've never played Speed Duel, so I don't know if it's actually a format worth playing. Let me know what you guys think. But uh, let's see, you know, Hunter Dragon. I haven't seen some of these, Proto, Proto Cyber, Cyber Phoenix. And then the Cyber Darks, definitely easier to play Cyber Darks. There was only one um, Cyber Dragon, unfortunately. Oh, Claw? Interesting. And the Poly. You gotta have Poly. This is the Fusion Era. Uh, by far my favorite. Just so much. So many cool things you would do. And it's just stuff made sense, you know? Back when the Monster Mechanic made the most sense, you know, Fusion always do the, the weakest by far of a lot of them. Um, but still, awesome. Volcanics. I know there's some people out there been waiting for those. This fire deck, definitely. Fire decks were probably, I think they were a lot popular. A lot more popular back then. Mitsu Zure, I've been seeing that a lot because of the progression series. And, um, and the skill cards, I don't know too much about these. I'll still go through them though. I'm assuming uh, most of these, maybe, I would hope that the skill cards for like some of these would like let you fuse from like graveyard or from deck or something. I don't know. That's, that's, it may make the most sense, right? Because hard drawing a poly seems pretty hard. Um, it seems like a kind of format where if you just don't get it in time, it's just, it's just over, you know? Because speed duel, you know, it's all about the speed. You know, I show speed, you know what I'm saying? All right. And then the last deck, and then we'll be able to go on to um, some of the fusions here. Hello, can I open any second now. Oh, there you go. All right, nice. Uh, we got uh, ancient gear stuff right here. Some machines, and then we're giant rat. Okay. <laughs> uh, we just went quickly different. Okay, now we're back to the ancient gears. I don't know why they did it like that. It seems kind of weird that you would put like the non-ancient gear stuff after the golem. But you know, I, I guess. We'll just let it be, I guess. <laughs> nice. Double cycle. Card advance. Metal morph. Oh, yeah. Damage condenser. Dude, this is all just eye candy for uh, for nostalgia. Then we got some warrior ladies and the cybers. Nice. Ben 10. Eda 10. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're getting some Drytron flashbacks. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Cosmic's in here. That's... I did not know Cosmic was in here. That's interesting. Um, a Jar of Avarice. Rainbow Dragon. I think uh, Crystal Beasts are getting something soon, right? I think that's the beginning of Structure Deck or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Nice. You gotta keep all the Order Archetypes alive, am I right? I, not just Dark Magician and Blue Eyes, but... While it's awesome, it just, they, got, they get so much. And some of this stuff, just dead in the water, never gonna see play again. So one day, you know, they bring some stuff back. There's a lot of these spells and traps I've not seen because they're just bad and you don't know when to place them. But anyways, you know, let's uh, head on to the good stuff now to finish things off. The uh, extra deck monsters here, wherever the little flap is, is there one? All right, here we go. Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, my, my favorite. Right next to Shiny Flare Wingman. I'm not sure which one I like more. Thunder Giant, of course, Rampart Blaster. You gotta have all the basic ones. Steam Healer, Dark Bright, Plasma Vice. Is it most Dark Bright's material? A Spark Man Neck Okay. Uh, Destiny End Dragoon. Was there not? I'm very sure. Did I miss a Dogma? I don't remember seeing Dogma. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy if I just don't see him. There was, right? 
Okay, there is Dogma. I don't know why I was like... I, I missed him the first time around, but yeah, there's Dogma. This is my favorite Destiny Hero uh, fusion monster, by the way. Oh, Dangerous. Interesting. Ojama King. VW. Ojama Knight. Ultimate Ancient Gear. Cyber Blader. Uh, definitely gonna watch some of those stuff if they came in the secret. You know, gotta search for those secrets, of course. Hour of... Okay, then the, the last deck, of course. Moki Moki. I got some support. Dawn's of Luke. Oh, nice. Gyroids. Hydro Get On. Rainbow Dark Dragon. So I guess it's just like the extra stuff, I would assume. Maybe some like staple stuff. Book of Moon. That's right, that came in uh, Secret 2. Fusion Weapon. Moki Moki Smackdown. Crystal Beacon. I guess it was just the extra stuff. I don't know where this is all. Uh, how it's all organized or whatever. It's like a trap hole. Alright guys, so that is the, the Speed Duel GX box, so let me know what you guys think about some of these cards. Um, these look awesome, they look great, just don't like the Speed Duel how it says in the bottom, but it's certain some uh, certain spotlights you won't be able to see it anyways, so it's probably fine. But nice guys, that's awesome, definitely great. If you love the GX era, or if you just like slower formats, get some of these, pick some up, play with your friends, make whole decks, or, or play Speed Duel. I never played it, so I don't know how much fun it is, but... Definitely, this box is worth it. It's kind of like a structure deck in a sense. But, uh, you know, pick it up because there's going to be more. There's going to be a lot more GX stuff around the horizon. I think, like, Southern Paradox, Midsummer Paradox, something like that. And then they announced another one, too. So there's, like, two more Speedwell products coming, like, this year or, like, soon. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, GX is the best series, and uh, that's all I got to say for you guys. So see you, see you later.